Hello friends, in the last lesson we learned what is a set and how to represent a set in roster form as well as set builder form. In this lesson we will learn what is a subset or a part of a set. Let's say we took a deck of cards, playing cards. Now let us put all the aces together. We know there are four aces in a deck of 52 cards. Let us represent this set of cards by C. So C would be equal to A which is A's comma 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 comma J for Jack, Q for Queen and K for King. This is assuming we are not treating aces of different colors as different cards. We are building a set independent of the color of the card. So let us call a set of aces as a new set called T. So we can say the set of aces that is set T which contains the element A is a subset of set C or part of set C because all the elements of set T are part of set C and set C has some more elements so set T is a subset of set C. To put it in a generic way, if all the elements of set B are in set A, then we say set B is a subset of set A. We write it like this, B is a subset of A. Subset symbol is a small c with an underline below it. So B is a subset of A. See the diagram. The big blue circle represents all the elements in set A including the element in red circle which is a set B. So B is part of A. B is a subset of A. That doesn't mean B includes everything of A. Means we took some or all elements of set A to form B. Look at the diagram. Here B only has few elements from A. Just like we took only the aces from set C to form a subset so every element of B is there in A, but all the elements of A may or may not be in B. Let us take another example. Say we have two sets. Set A has elements 2, 3, 4, 5 and 7. And set B has 7, 2, 3 and 5. Which is a subset here? If you look carefully, both sets have same elements. Just the order is different. An order of element doesn't matter in sets. So set A and set B are equal sets, means A equal to B. If all the elements of set B are part of set A, then we say B is a subset of A. And opposite is true too, because all the elements of A are in B. So the two sets A and B are equal if and only if all the elements of B are there in A and all the elements of A are there in B. We will learn more about subset in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.